shit. I'm doing better for me. See where you're not getting hit, are you? How much else does this thing have left? And it's done. Man, that thing is tough. Like, fighting that thing at endgame levels is a fucking joke because he dies in like seven hits. That was quite a performance. But you mustn't get in over your head. We, but, for the Shit, moment, skipped. we have a toast to make. So the sneak route, the only way to get this thing, quite honestly, is if you do sequence quests. Because I missed my opportunity, I could not get some stuff. Your valor, my sword, and our victory together. Long may the sun shine. <laughs> Praise the sun, he says. Get okay, a toast gesture. Of course I'll toast if you stick around. Cool. Pointing down... Why is pointing down a gesture? I meant to switch. Where's my toast? Of course I want a toast. Yep. Look at me. That was fun, Sigurd. Well, I'm going to have myself a little nap. The only thing to do, really, after a nice toast. Really, right here? <laughs> really? <sighs> oh, Sigurd. Oh, the silly guy. Well, in any case, I hope my game doesn't crash in this area, because this does look like the kind of area where it would happen. All these flame effects on the ground. So there's a large club. I think there's a bunch of random crap around here. And I don't think there's any way to get down from this area either without a Homeward Bone, so... Hey, I guess I'm going to be using more than one Homeward Bone this session. Oh boy. I mean, it's something at least. At least uh, I'm getting some use out of them. Go on, I am over here. Hey, it's a homeward bone because the game knows. They know it's the only way out of this area, so they kind of had to throw you one. It's like the one. This is like one of the few areas in the game where it's just an optional side area that has no way out of once you enter it outside of a homeward bone. It really feels like they could have designed like a ladder that you could kick down or something, but oh well. Oh well. It's not a huge deal anyway, but open nice. So pale tongue. That's a covenant thing. And the northern set, which I'm currently wearing, so Yeah. They always do that in these games, give you a way to get every armor set. There's nothing over here, but through here, I believe, is some really tough stuff. Gee, I wonder what the trap here is. I wonder. Wow, it actually didn't activate. But gee, I do sure wonder what the trap is in this area. Do sure wonder. Hey, look, there's some in the ceiling. I wonder. Give me a full charge to kill these in one hit. And that was all for a skull. Wow. Not really worth the risk, but you know what? I'll take it.
So we also got this stuff over here. Yeah, hey, I wonder if you're alive. So that's why I use charging attacks for these. I'm just knocking out the lights. It's really annoying, actually. Dog fell. Did that kill him? I don't think it did. He'll be back. So there's just chest here. Oh, it's a trap. Oh yes, Fading Soul. Yep. Why Fading Soul is like the one thing these guys drop. No, well, I guess technically five. But whatever, you get the point. So here's the tough part of this area. Two of these. This is risky. This is incredibly risky. To be honest, it's probably not worth the risk. Matter of fact, I don't think it is, but too late now. I've done it. All that for Flynn's ring. Oh boy. I think that's all that's up here, too. It was all for Flynn's ring. I don't believe there's anything else. At least nothing of worth. So with that, I might just homeward out of here. I should probably have a homeward bone on my uh, hot bar. Oh well. Let's go back to the last bonfire I rested at. Even though I might have close to two level ups. Because there's just a little bit more I want to do. Just a bit more. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do it, but I will sure try. I'm full health. I'm about as ready as I'll ever be for it. So I'll try to open the door to the next area. Also known as the area that crashes my game sometimes for no reason. Oh boy. Oh. Lovely. Fucking beautiful. Is Fat Lady stuck? I think she's stuck. I think she's actually stuck on the bird. Oh, that's that's not going to be good. Yeah, this is not going to be a good place. Oh boy. Well, at least she only has that one attack and it's kind of slow. I'll have to come back for Miracle Lady later. She's not too bad to get to. I'll just do it later. For now, though, I took the lift up last time. This one goes down, right? No, this one goes up. I need to go down. And I'm gonna just pause and unpause to save my game right here. Because, let me put it this way, there is no way I am going to do that whole walk again if my game crashes. Which it's known to do in this area. 
No, I'll save here too. Just so I don't have to take the elevator again. Okay, my frame rate is like 20 frames a second. My frame rate's always fine in this room. But there's a chance that entering this room it could crash. And there's a chance that entering through that door it could crash. In fact, there's a chance it could crash at the bonfire that's beyond that door. Now, why do they give you an ember here? Because this thing is a real... Do you get frostbitten? Which I'm probably about to get. Yeah, this, this thing is a nasty piece of work. Frostbite slows your uh, stamina recovery. It's a bad status. Thankfully, though, this thing's dead. That thing can very easily kill you if you get stuck in its pattern. It's not a fun fight. Thankfully, there's enough pillars in this room to kind of hide behind and get a little bit of time to heal. So this door could crash me. And the bonfire beyond it could crash me. I'm going to look at the floor and try and minimize the risk of crashing. Ooh. Stutter. Stutter means it was thinking about it. I think I'm safe. Take it real slow. Take it real slow before I sit here. Okay, we didn't crash. Good. <sighs> Not sure why, like, my very first crash in this game was literally three feet from this bonfire. I think the crashing is tied into are you moving the camera when the game stutters? If the answer is yes, your game crashes. So that's why I'm really freaking careful when it comes to this stuff. So now we'll go back to the cliff underside and we'll do the one last route before I fully move on. Yeah, as you can probably tell, this game, like, we've been through the starting tutorial area, first little area, and then the second area is this area. And this second area, as you can tell, has taken me like around two hours at this point. So I did see an item somewhere from across the way. Just trying to figure out where it was. It was all on one of these roofs, was it not? What roof was it on? What roof indeed? Heck, there's no roof down there. I swear I saw it. Huh. I'm a little bit confused. All I know is I saw it. Was it outside? It could very well be. One hit of quitters. Well, if it is outside, it's probably over there, isn't it? Very well could be, huh? Oh, there it is. Or there something is. I need a bow for that. It's actually the first time I think I'm actually in need of a specific weapon to get something. I don't. I know I don't have the skill to do this, but I will do it anyway. Because I just need to hit it once. I'll just remove it. Might be the only time you see me use a bow all game. 
because I have throwing knives to lure stuff. And that was for a partisan. Didn't actually know that was there. But you know what? Now that I know, I know for my own playthrough. And we'll get that later and see if it's any good. It's probably not good. Matter of fact, let me check the item description because I've never got that item before. Spear, blade attached to the broad point. Can be used with shield up. Can slice. So it's a sweeping spear. That's interesting, but I'm not sure if I want to use that ever. Hmm. Can I get back up from here? No, I can't. Oh well. Have a jumping attack. I've never seen that before. And you're done. I figured I had time to jump him, and instead he jumped me. Oh boy. Poetic justice, I suppose you can call it. Not really anything poetic about it. I thought you were here. Twinkling Titanite. It's a lovely little hidden item. And now I'll go back to that air bonfire and do the thing I wanted to do. Then I think we'll call it a session. Unless I want to do that top part. Do I? I mean, that top part is really annoying. And there's a pretty good chance I die doing it. Like, I mean, there's a lot of ranged enemies, and it's just in general not a fun area to go through. I might do it anyway, just to get it out of the way. But yeah, I don't have the key yet. There. Well, that was pointless. I forgot I didn't have that key yet. So if I do want to do that, I'm going to have to go back to Fire Link and... Yeah. Well, I guess who's using a for Homeward Bone in this session, because I screwed up. Keep forgetting to go back to Fire Link. Oh well, I'll get, I'll get these two levels done. Buy that key. Actually, give her the soul first, and then buy the key. There is an order to these things. So he's gone now. I'm not sure where he went or why, but... Welcome home, Ashen One. Okay, so let's level up. Then touch take I don't actually remember if I've died recently. I don't believe I have, so... Probably can't use the Dark Sigil yet. Huh. Do I want to start getting my strength up? Am I fine with my endurance right now? Not really. I really do want to get my endurance up a little bit more before I start really needing it. Because I will really need it at some point. Ah, well met, Ash. How may I? Number Ash. Gracious. Passing fine ash thou hast given. Let this ash be stone nourishment. I only hope these new wares content thee. <laughs> so yeah, she's gonna say that a lot every time I give her ash. There's only one set of ashes in the game. I think that she says something different. Though I could be wrong. I actually looked up locations of different ashes. And it turns out that if certain NPCs die or you kill them, you can just give their ashes to her. So there's that. That's a thing I can do. So the Mortician's Ashes get us the Grave Key. Something I kind of need. Also go buy a Prism Stone for Snuggly the Crow. Or not Snuggly, whatever his name is. Is it Snuggly? 
It's something. They never really say his name in the game, but he has a name. Also buy this large leather shield. I'm not sure if I can use the talisman for why I want to, so... I'll hold off on that. And yeah, I think that's it. Okay, so... Might as well do some snuggly trades while we're here. So check for this, make sure I don't have anything in my storage box that I'm not going to use. Catalysts. Definitely dumb bat. So let's see, I'll go check Yule of Londor, see if I can level up via the dark sign. Don't think I can, I don't think I died. Oh. I would do it. Nope. Be safe. Alright. So let's see if the Pyromancy guy's here. Are you still breathing? Ah, there you are. I was thinking. You know I'm a petty thief. Well, perhaps I'll go on the prowl. Everyone's dead or hollowed away anyway, right? So I might as well fetch some weapons or treasure for you. Well, what do you say? Yeah, sure. Thank you. You will not be disappointed. Grey Rat the Thief was once a well-known name. Until I ended up rotting in a cell. <laughs> so there. He'll go hunting for us. Before he does, I might want to uh, stock up on the arrows or something. Probably won't be using those. Standards. Standard bolts. Uh, but those, I might use the Avalon for one boss later on to cheap him out. And he does sell standard bolts. Uh, you know what? I don't care about 1,200 souls. Goodbye. Do stay safe. You. <laughs> yeah. I'll buy those just in case I decide to do that optional boss that I still haven't beaten on my error playthrough. Because I know you can cheap him out with ranged attacks. Because I might actually need to do that to beat him. He's a tough boss. But yes, was I going to do snuggly? The fog wall's probably up. I'll do it later. Because all I can really do with that is uh, get more pieces of Solaris armor, get more Twinkling Tight Knights. Stuff like that. It's all little handy things. May as well organize the storage box while we're at it, though. The Irithal Straight Sword. A little bit more dexterity for it. Okay, I'm pretty sure it swings all right. It's faster than the Uchi. Broadsword's still the fastest sword. It does frost damage. Huh. I'll hold it just in case. Won't be using the Hand Axe. Reinforced Club. Won't be using... I'll keep the large club, just in case. Carson won't be using. The scythe I've always wanted to try out, but I need more decks, probably won't be using it. Won't be using that, won't be using. Okay, so, dump that. Let's see, the small shield won't be using. Won't be using. Keep that, won't use. It's a great shield that I won't use. Actually, should I check my armors? Probably should. Uh, not use the Luke Teal mask right now. Cleric hat, worker hat. Have a set of that. Blue robes, firekeeper robes. Worker garb. Should probably read the firekeeper stuff, actually. And the iron bracelets. Uh, said to be bracelets of a knight of sunlight from a previous age. Yeah, so there's bracelets. See, this is 2.3 in one poise. 2.9, 1.9 poise. I lose some strike resistance. Gain more magic and I think dark resistance. 
That actually useful wears bracelets. And there's the Law of Night stuff. Fire gloves won't use. Firekeeper gloves, let's read. Firekeeper's Robbed of Light, the bears serve as vessels for souls. Only those who cherish writhing, searing darkness were given the Firekeeper's black attire. Throw those away. Firekeeper. Cleric. I've got a few things to sell as well. For now, though, let's just get that uh, one last thing done. Now call it, because I'm not ending the session without getting that uh, cleric in my uh, party. Really taking it slow for this area. Like at this point, it's probably been almost two and a half hours. Like the recording says two hours, but I know I spent like ten minutes in here before. Yeah, we're gonna have like two and a half hours in this place, and this is just like the second real area of the game. This game is long. It's entirely because if you do everything, there's a lot to do. I promise I won't be this stringent for our areas, for those of you getting annoyed by my backtracking. But this area in particular I want to be careful with because there's a lot of NPCs to get. So here's where you can cure the dark sign. I'm not going to be doing that because that will screw up the uh, secret ending. And I don't want to do that. And that's kind of the point of this after all. I mean, a skeletons. Got a red hilted halberd. Might use that if I have the uh, dexterity for it. See, skeletons are basically Dark Souls 1 skeletons. There's one thing you should remember about Dark Souls 1 Skeletons, they have some really big wind-up attacks. And if you're dumb enough to let them hit you, you're screwed. So you'd have to be pretty dumb to let them hit you. But yeah, they, they can stun lock you real bad. And that's the danger here. And of course the trap is they spawn one behind you for people who don't know. And they can parry you if they so choose, just not when they're first reforming. These guys fall off the bridge. I think they did. That could be a problem. Because if these guys fell off the bridge... Okay, good, nothing else seems to have fallen off the bridge. Fuck missed. Shit. Okay, be careful. Let me down. How much stamina do you have? Holy crap. Stamina for days from that guy. If I hadn't missed my leaping at that, I would have killed that lizard, but. I fucked up. I'll be the first to admit I fucked up. I should have hit that strong attack button there. I should have leaping attack to stun lock him. Now, the way crystal lizards work in this game is in order to get them back, I will have to actually completely reload the area. I can't just rest to have one fire. So here's what I feared would happen. So these rats are quite annoying. The best way to deal with them is just actually come up here, take it slow, take a heal. Take your time. And eliminate as many as possible. And there we go. Easy. Get some souls. Talisman. I wish you could sprint up wires in this game. That's a mechanic they removed from Dark Souls 3. I'm not sure why. I mean, they added liar sprinting in Dark Souls 2. I didn't think they'd remove it. It didn't seem like one of the mechanics they'd actually get rid of. Hello. Uh, who is that? Who are you talking to? Is someone there? Anyone? Oh, 
please. Whoever you are, touch me. The dark surrounds me, nibbles at my flesh. Little creatures, they never stop biting. So please, hold out your hand and touch me. Ah, oh, yes, there you are. So close. Indeed. Then I am not entirely alone just yet. Praise the merciful gods above. Oh, forgive me. I am Irina of Karim. I came to this land so that I might be a firekeeper. Your touch has freed me from the darkness. You are a champion, then. I am weak and unfit to tend the flames. But if it would not trouble you, might I enter into your service instead? So yeah, accepting her into your service lets you learn miracles, which, as I mentioned before, they're not entirely useful in this game early on. You don't get any real good like, attack miracles till way later. Oh, thank you, sweet or anyway. champion. I shall take my vows. I, Irina of Karim, solemnly swear to serve you. And there we go. So that pretty much wraps up this area. Just one more guy to talk to, and uh, we're out. You've gone and rescued her, have you? How very quaint. Pitying creatures that are beyond help. <laughs> yeah. Very well. I'm sick of looking after her at any rate. I am Egon, a knight of Karim. I am allied to you for as long as you assure the girl's safety. And only for that long. What's the matter? My terms are very simple. I am allied to you for as long as you assure the girl's safety. And only for that long. <laughs> so yeah, this guy here, I've already gained Lotric vibes from him. He's not quite Lotric. He's close. <laughs> and that's pretty bad. I'll let him go about his quest line though. Like, he doesn't actually kill NPCs like uh, Lotric does, so at least there's that. You won't get screwed out of uh, having uh, people join you. Shit, that goes up. Need the down elevator. Because I'm not using an air homeward bone this session for no reason. God, I've already used like three this session. And that's three more than I thought I'd use. Well, two more anyway. I had to use one, but... Not that it's a big deal. Like I said, this game throws like 20 at you. 20 that are fairly easy to find. And then another 10 that are somewhat out of the way. I don't even have a level up, so... Oh, let's look down. So, I think that'll do it for today. Yeah, I did pretty much everything I wanted to in that area, so... Next time we'll advance the plot a little bit more. Go through... Whatever this area is, the Road of Sacrifices. And hope the game doesn't crash. <laughs>